This right here is the best selling espresso machine on Amazon.com. And that really intrigues me. So my idea for today's video is first want to take an overview of this machine and then I want to do a demo. I want to do the demo in two parts. First use this machine in basic mode and then I want to use it in advanced mode. And I want to see what can we do to get the absolute best out of this machine. All right guys, if you're getting any value from this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. You guys will be helping me out a lot by doing that. And if you'd like to get more tips and reviews on coffee machines like this, then consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so let's just get right on into it. This little espresso machine caught my eye because it is the best seller. Let's talk about um, its features, what it comes with and how it differentiates from the Dedica. You'll see this is also a pretty minuscule espresso machine. It is a manual one. So it's a very simple to operate. You just got this knob here. You either turn it to the right to start your espresso extraction and you can turn it to the left to heat it up to steam mode. That's about it. You steam here on the side. There is a power button here to turn it on. And inside there is a one liter water tank. You got some kind of like handy storage here that you can put your baskets. That's kind of cool. And this does come with baskets, by the way, for pressurized extractions. So you got a, a double and a single basket that this comes with. And I believe it also comes with a pod basket. That is this machine very briefly. Let's just see how it compares to the Dedica. So here I've got the Dedica and you can see that they're both very small machines. So here, here you can see they're just about the same height. The Dedica is of course much much thinner than this one is but they're both small machines and the depth is not that far apart either. Okay, so one, one kind of big difference between these two is, and, and this is important, is this is an actual boiler machine and a manual one, as I mentioned. This one over here is a thermal block machine and it's automated to a big extent. You've got a volumetric dosing here. You've got a, a descaling reminder on here. It will transfer back from steam mode to coffee mode all on its own. So. There's some automation here on this one, which this does not have. This one, you've got to do the extraction all on your own. You've got to turn the pump on and off um, by yourself. And remember to go from steam mode back to coffee mode. However, I normally weigh my shots anyway. So for me, that's no big deal. And although I do appreciate very much the volumetric dosing possibility on the Dedica, I weigh my shots instead. That's when you're trying to go for that famous one to two ratio. If you put 15 grams in, then you were going for about 30 grams out in the cup. So what else these two share in common is that they both um, warm up pretty quickly. Now here is in my opinion, where these two machines really differentiate and it has to do with taste. This brew group is not heated. This brew group is heated. In fact, there's a sticker on there that says hot, don't touch. And it gets hot, I measured it. It gets all the way up to 75 degrees, even without an extraction. It is actually actively heated up to 75 degrees Celsius. And this one sits at about room temperature. So for me, that gives this one a decided advantage over the Dedica because you want the path of water from the start to the end to be as constant as possible. You want the boiler, obviously, to be at the right temperature. You want the brew group to be at the same temperature as well as the porta filter, the basket, and into the cup. And that is how you get the best extraction. In the Dedica, unfortunately, the espresso gets cooled down once it hits the cooler brew group and the cooler porta filter. So I'm gonna put this one away. Let's just concentrate here on this nice espresso machine today. So let's get right on into the demonstration. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to use this machine in the basic mode. That means with the pressurized porta filter and with the Panarello steam wand. Now for everybody who doesn't know, this is what a pressurized basket looks like. It's got one hole coming out the bottom. The rest of the holes are here on the inside. And so what that means is that the basket itself is responsible for creating 
the crema for creating the resistance to the ink flowing water. What that means is that you can get yourself just some pre-ground espresso from the store and you can make yourself an espresso. It's very easy. So this machine comes with an included scoop and I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the basket with, let's say, about 14 grams. 12.8. All right, there we go, 14 grams. And now we'll give it a, a little tamp and stick it in the machine. That doesn't really... Now in this case, I wanted to measure out my shot, but I don't have enough space here with the standard porta filter on there. But that's okay, let's just eyeball it. All right, I'll call that good right there. All right, yeah, that, that's a you know decent shot. It's got some crema. It's pretty thin, but it does have a little bit of crema. So let's put that in here. We're gonna make ourselves a cappuccino. And now let's go into the steam mode in the basic mode of using the Panarello. So the Panarello, what that does is it helps inject air into the milk for you. And that, that's a little bit of a help. So let's do that right now. So let's just move into steam mode here. We're gonna purge our steam wand. And now we can go ahead and do some steaming. Okay, you can see it, it's really injecting quite a bit of air in there. You don't have to do much except for stick it in there. You try to get a, a swirl going. See if I can do that at the right angle. That's not looking too bad. Okay, it's plenty hot. Got to remember to turn the steam mode off. And now you've got some, some pretty good froth there. However, because you don't have a lot of control over the amount of air that you inject, it's a little bit too thick in my opinion. Let's just try to pour ourselves a cappuccino anyway. Okay. That's about the best that I can do, but it's um, pretty nice thick cappuccino. All right, so that's the basic mode. And I've gotta be honest, I much prefer this machine in the advanced mode. So let's go ahead and use it in the advanced mode. Okay, so for the advanced mode, we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we're going to remove the Panarello. All you have to do is twist that off of there. Let's clean that off. And now here, this is a really, this is a really, really cool trick. I love it. Just get yourselves one of these guys as a cable tie, like that right there, that cable tie. All we gotta do is put that on there. And now you've got yourself a pretty nice steam wand. What is the reason for the cable tie? Well, the reason is that this nozzle will shoot off if you don't use the cable tie. So make sure to put one on. All right, so that is point number one. Point number two, we've got to handle yet. We're gonna remove this porta filter that the machine came with. And we're gonna put this really nice bottomless porta filter in there. The bottomless porta filter is great because it allows you to use a proper normal basket, a conventional one that's got holes that go all the way through. So with this basket, you are responsible yourself for creating the resistance through the puck. So let's warm up the basket. Now we're just about ready for advanced mode. One more thing. Last thing we need is this right here, this WDT tool. This is really helpful for distributing the grounds and we'll come back to that in just a moment. It's nice that this is a uh, magnetic on here. All right, so, so far we haven't spent too much on advanced mode. This bottomless porta filter probably costs between 30 and $50. The basket normally comes with it. This WDT tool can be had for about 20 bucks. And this cable tie, let's call it free. So 
you're maybe talking about 50 to 75 bucks to bring this up to advanced mode. But of course you do need something else. You're gonna need a grinder because to get the best out of this machine, you need to put good stuff into it. So you wanna get yourself some freshly roasted beans, get a decent grinder. This is a Spezialita. You don't need to go all the way up that high and, and spend that kind of money. You can also get yourself a hand grinder for about a hundred bucks and that will give you good results too. But I'm a lazy guy. I don't like hand grinding all the time and so I use this. Let's go ahead and do the demo in advanced mode. So our porta filter now is getting pretty nice and toasty. Let's just let some water through there to make sure that it's warmed up even a little more. So you can hear the boiler right now. Clumsy today. All right, the next thing that we want to do is tear out our scale. Now I'm teared out and I'm gonna put 16 grams of freshly ground coffee in there. Sixteen point two. Let's call that good enough. And now it's time to prepare our puck. The spezialita is not clumpy, but it's good to distribute the grounds anyway. All right, that's that. Now let's give it a good tamp. All right. So now our puck is prepared, and we're good to go. All right, so luckily, now that we're using the bottomless porta filter, we do have enough space here to put the scale there. And so now let's just go and try to get our two to one ratio. Looking pretty good. And we're at 21 grams, 27, 30. All right, so you can see there's quite a difference there in that shot. Look at how much crema, ooh. This is delightful and this is exactly what I'm looking for from an espresso machine. And not only is there a lot of crema, it gives you an excellent, excellent shot. Mm. And a hotter shot, a better extracted shot than the Dedica. I have to admit it. Let's go ahead and go um, steam ourselves some milk in the advanced mode. So let's say you fill up your pitcher about just to underneath the nose there. You want your milk to be nice and cold. Ideally you want fatty milk, this is three and a half percent. So now we're going to go into steam mode. In the meantime, I will pour my espresso in the cup. Now let's purge our steam wand. And now we can start. You can tell it's got quite the steam power. What you want to make sure to do is inject air right in the beginning, right away. Put your tip right there in about the, the lower quadrant. Make sure the milk is spitting nice. And once it gets hot to the touch, Turn off the steam. So let's see if I can pour something decent. For sure the milk, the milk is like paint. Ooh, nice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful milk. Nice. All right, that is really, really, a beautiful extraction, a beautiful cappuccino. I'm just so delighted with this little machine. I can't tell you. I mean, I really am. With this nice little boiler in there, this machine in the advanced mode, man, it performs. So let's just compare. This is basic mode here, and this is advanced mode here. Way silkier. It's, it's just a delight to use. So that concludes the demo portion of this video. Bottomless porta filters, what you need, a zip tie so you can really practice your steaming, a WDT tool is always good, and then you're gonna need some kind of grinder. And of course, the secret weapon, you need decent, decent beans. Between two weeks and six weeks is a really good range um, as far as roast date is concerned, and then you should be in espresso heaven. Let me try this one here. Cheers.
really, really nice. <sighs> All right, guys, so now I'm curious, what do you guys think about this little machine? Was it on your radar? Have you checked it out? If you do have it, are you gonna try the advanced mode? I would invite you to do that. It's really quite a, a fun little machine to experiment with. And I'll tell you one more thing. The more it heats up is the better it gets. By the time this has been on for 15 or 20 minutes, it's it better and better. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.